Hello guys and girls, today we're gonna take a look at creating a login and registration screen with navigation with React Native. To do this we're gonna use the Interactive App Builder which you can access at interactiveappbuilder.com It's a React Native drag and drop uh, uh, builder which allows you to build user interfaces with navigation very very fast. So let's get started. Right here on screen 1 we're gonna create uh, the login screen and at screen 2 we will create the registration screen I will be working in uh, iOS you can work in Android here as well if you want to so let's get started first we're gonna do is we're gonna grab one of these predefined components we're gonna use the image component here to create a logo type let's start by setting some settings for the component let's go into the height tab set a height of let's say 40% let's set the content of the component to center which means the uh, image component inside this component will be centered centered inside the component let's also yeah, set the background uh, you can use the detailed color picker if you want to I'm just gonna set a background right here and let's just upload a logo type whatever logo type you want I'm gonna use this one so something like that then let's go ahead and uh, drag in a text input component for the username and as well add a text input secure right here for the password so let's just say username right there and then password right here and let's change some of the styles for this first thing we can do is change the styles of the entire component which contains these inputs so let's go ahead into height we can set this to 40 percent as well let's center the content and let's go to background and set the same background as we're using for the logo type now for the actual inputs we can uh, click the wrench icon right here so let's start with the username we can change the font size to 13 let's also change the input color to white we can change the background color i'm gonna set a rgba value here with a, a value of let's say 30 which gives it uh, an opacity of 30. i'm gonna go to the border and down here where we got the border radius let's set it to 8 and also a placeholder color for the input let's set it to white so something like that so let's do the same for the password exactly the same settings font size 13 input color white background color detailed and then a value of 40 uh, 30 sorry like that let's also set a border radius down here let's set it to eight if you want to you can add a border width a border color as well but i'm just gonna set the border radius to eight for this design and then a placeholder color for white as well so now we got the username input right here and we got the password input which is a secure input what we're also going to do is we're going to change the view type of the input uh, component uh, or the container for the input components to a keyboard avoiding view this will make this entire component go upwards when the user focuses on an input and the keyboard is visible inside the phone so the keyboard won't overlap the inputs so something like that now let's go ahead and add uh, two buttons here at the bottom uh, we're gonna need one login button and a register button so for this we're gonna use the touchable opacity which we got right here and the first button we can go login and let's just leave the height as it is but we can change the width to 50% so it's right here 6 by 12 uh, which is 50% uh, Let's add another touchable opacity here as well. Let's drag it down to 50% as well. And let's change the height to 50 there. So something like that. And let's go to register. Let's go into the login button and change the font size to 13. And let's change the font size to 13 on the register button as well. You can change these styles however you want. But for this design, I'm just gonna keep it like this. Then go into the content tab Oh, sorry let's first set the height we can set this to 40 percent then go into the content to center the content of the buttons uh, container 
the button component. So now we got these uh, three components. We got the logo type up here. We got the inputs for username and password. Uh, and we got this uh, button component with uh, a login and a register button. Uh, this is taking up 40%. This is 40% and the remaining 20% is uh, the last component at the bottom. So we're taking up the entire uh, height of uh, the app right now. We're also going to add an icon for the username and for the password and to do that, uh, to do that, just click the plus icon here at uh, the input and let's select image background and I'm just going to drag it here in the right corner as small as possible and let's just add a user like that and the same for the password, uh, image background uh, and let's just use a password icon. I just got a couple of predefined uh, images here. You can use whatever images you want. Then let's change to live and just uh, drag them, these out to the center in the corner. So something like that. Let's just preview this. This looks uh, pretty decent. So uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to need some navigation for the register button because when the user clicks the register button, we're going to be taken to screen 2. So let's just click the wrench icon here at the register button, go to navigation. And here we can actually uh, select a screen to navigate to, so let's select screen 2. This means when the user clicks the register button, he will be uh, navigated automatically to uh, screen 2 so you don't have to program any of this yourself it's built into the app builder so let's go ahead and create screen 2 before I do that I'm just gonna save the app right here real quick and let's name it login register login login reg like that and let's go ahead and create screen 2. So what we're going to do is uh, we can reuse this component, right, the logo type. So we can go uh, click the settings icon for the component, go to screens, uh, and then select screen 2. So now we got screen 1 and 2. Let's also add a couple of uh, inputs here. We can select a text input right there, also text input secure. And let's just say uh, your username, your password, and let's change the height of this to 40%. Let's set the content to center and the background color here as well. And let's just add the same styles for these inputs as we defined at screen one. So let's just say font size 13 color white, background color, RGBA with uh, 30 and opacity and a border radius of 8, place all the color white. So now we got the same layout here as here. And let's just do exactly the same for the password. and place all the color white so like that and then let's just add a button here at the bottom we can start by setting the height for this component 20% so now we got 40, 40, 20 so we're up at 100% of the screen height again and let's just say register Change the font size here as well to 13. So, something like that. So, now I'm just gonna go ahead and save the app again. So, that's it. Now we got the login screen and we can navigate to the register screen as well. So now before we actually compile the app, we're going to open up the app settings tab right here at the bottom right. 
and I'm gonna leave the screen density as it is. My target platform in this case is basically any smartphone. And this means that one unit in the builder will, will uh, correspond to one and a half React Native units, which will look pretty good. So let's just leave that. You can uh, drag this around if you want to uh, compile the app for a higher screen density. I'm gonna go to app orientation and I'm gonna make sure that portrait mode is selected so uh, the user cannot use landscape mode and not auto rotate mode and the app will be locked in portrait mode. So you select portrait mode and that's it. I'm gonna go down here and just click compile and download and uh, the app will com be compiled in a couple of seconds. Now Google Chrome gives this warning. Uh, zip is not commonly downloaded and may be dangerous. This is just because the zip file contains uh, code from React Native. So just click keep there. And this is nothing else than the compiled app right here. Uh, so only React Native code. So as you can see now, we got the entire app uh, compiled in a zip file. So just go ahead and extract it to any folder you want to. Like that. And it's named my app by default. And then I'm just gonna cd in into my app and I'm just gonna hit uh, npm install to install all the React Native dependencies and this will actually install everything we need uh, to be ordered to run the app. Once this is done, it takes a couple of seconds, uh, I'm just gonna hit npm start and start up the emulator. Uh, so I'm just gonna cut now and then uh, we'll uh, take a look at the app running in live mode. So as you can see, I've uh, just started it up on my Android emulator and everything seems to be working good. Uh, as you can see, the app is fully responsive. It adapts itself to the screen size and the screen height. And it works just as fine uh, on iOS as on Android. Uh, and let's just see if we hit uh, register here. We will be taken to the register screen. And we can just click here to go back. And we'll be taken back to the login screen. And we got this to uh, the username and the password input with a login button. So yeah, thank you. Bye bye.